Hello everyone and welcome back to another album review and in this video I'm going to review Batushka with a second album I think it's pronounced Paniheda. First of all before I get into my review I just want to announce the importance of the first album from Batushka, Liturgia. Liturgia was one of those albums in the black metal scene of this decade that managed to blow up. Even if in my opinion it's not one of the best black metal albums of this decade, I can truly understand its appeal, it has so many great moments to it, it's definitely a really nice and well crafted touch on ritual themes and this whole ritual aesthetic does not just come out with the album cover of this thing but also with the music which creates such an astonishing dark atmosphere. It is definitely one of the better albums produced in this decade in my opinion when it comes to black metal sounds. A sound that it's not necessarily appealing because it's clean. There are way cleaner things you can find in black metal. But it still gives this raw and really nasty and heavy approach combined with some great riffs and in general excellent performances. Also Batushka managed to be one of the most mysterious acts. For a very long period of time the band was anonymous. The members would just be named with different monikers and even with their live shows there was no identification. The band was mysterious, it was going for a really mystical approach and me personally I'm fine with all this mystery type of thing and just not want to show their faces in public or just identify who they are. This is what they wanted to do as a band, this is what they can definitely do. But this whole mysticism led some people to grab an opportunity and this is where the masks fell off and this whole mystery of the band got uncovered. If you are unaware of the situation, over the past couple of months or so, the leader and the creator of the musical project Batushka, going by the name Krzysztof Drabikowski, I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name, mostly known by the moniker Christopher, released a YouTube video a few months back where he made an announcement over the whole Batushka drama that followed up. I'm going to leave a link of this video in the description where you can see him describing the whole situation. No, I myself am not 100% sure what exactly happened in this situation, but I'm going to briefly explain what this drama is all about. So basically Christoph created the whole band Batushka back in 2015. He's the one who made the music and the arrangement of the legendary debut Liturgia and that was with the help of two other people on vocals and drums. The one in the vocals is known with the name Bartolome Krishuk and I'm probably butchering this name as well. So basically Krishuk just left from the band and then he got into his way into creating a new Batushka with the exact same name hiring new musicians and making this its own trademark. And now as it seems he has managed to sign a contract with Metal Blade Records for the release of the new album, which is supposed to be the second Batushka album, but without the actual creator of the band and the whole image of the band. And now all of this had led to Christoph not having access to even his social media, like the official website, Facebook, Instagram, etc. So we're talking about two Batushkas. And this is such a stupid situation. This is such a stupid drama and I'm really shocked that things like this still happen on the year 2019. Hopefully Christoph's legal actions are going to be on hand. Hopefully he's going to have the law on his side because this is such a sad and frustrating situation. So with all that being said, Christoph made all by himself this new album over here. This is the true Batushka, the true second installment after the very successful Liturgia. A continuation from a really important black metal album of this decade. And I know that so far I have spent a lot of time actually talking about this bullshit drama rather than focusing on the review of this album, but I think that this whole situation had to be explained because this album in a sense truly shows the whole struggle Christoph has been into. In my opinion this album feels sort of special. It's Christoph's struggle to get away from a situation that he didn't even want to be brought up to him in the first place. It's also Christoph's guts to put out this announcement to the public and also Christoph's willpower to get out of this situation, to just break free and that's by proving not only to himself but also to his fans that he's able to make a great continuation of an album 
album that lots of people fell in love with. An album that in a sense oozes with confidence. This is the true sound of liturgia. This album in a sense truly feels like a liturgy from Christophe. And in my opinion, not only is the sequel a true successor of liturgia, but it also captivates all the feels, all of the appeal of liturgia and Panakida feels even better than its predecessor. The album is available on YouTube and also on Badcamp, but not in the Batuska name. This is where you're going to find the fake Batuska album that is going to be released in Metal Blade Records. It's on another Badcamp page that has the name of the mastermind behind this entire project. So yeah, we're talking about a one-man band project, made entirely by Christoph, even the mastering process. And this album captures perfectly the sound of Batuska and like I said to the point where it feels even better than Little Gear. The album is separated in eight parts. It's done with like the same way that you would see in the album Little Gear. It feels a bit like one song. There is a certain cohesion and continuation in between the tracks. Maybe not that much in a sense like with the first album, but there are still so many moments where the album would just go into different phases, just transitioning from the really heavy and nasty sound of raw black metal to just go to the more dark and atmospheric moments where it would just have this ridiculous ritual aesthetic which once again it's done really 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 well. The album is filled with a whole aesthetic that made Liturgia such a special album but in my opinion it just captures all those elements and make it for something even even better with way better production, way nastier blast beats and even more dark atmosphere and with far better riffs. There are so many riffs on this thing that are just killer and what's great is that the album has a really strong start but as the album continues it just keeps getting better and better. In some occasions it might feel a little bit weaker like with the tracks 2 and 3 which are not some of my favorite moments but then you have pen four, five and six and it's just great after great after great track especially the fourth one this is possibly one of the best black metal songs i've heard all year the riffs on this thing are just amazing they're really beautiful it captures the sound of black metal i'm a huge fan of and it's just done with such a clever touch with all those ritual sounds this ritual aesthetics of course, in my opinion, this album is not perfect. Like I said, there are moments like the song Pen 3 and possibly the song Pen 7 that I wasn't that much of a huge fan over these tracks in particular. But this doesn't really stop me to say that this as a whole thing is one of the more solid black metal albums you can find all year. In my opinion, even though it feels that this album has a bit of a much bigger emphasis on the black metal side of things, trying to be a bit more raw and aggressive. I think that these moments to go through some ritual samples and some beautiful and epic choruses sound better than ever and even better than the ones from Liturgia. Once again, this album goes to a lot of different directions when it comes to some certain types of black metal. You can have your slower moments with tracks like Pen 4 and 6, which seem to give a high emphasis on riffs, and in general some epicness with all those choirs and all those sounds in the background. And then there are other moments with such heavy and nasty blast beats. They sound really sickening, it's just like madness. What Panakita definitely doesn't have is this mystical approach. This album does not try to show you a mystical aura behind it, just a whole mystery behind the members of the band. Just sounds from here and there making you question lots of different things, just keeping the mind on constant thinking. In my opinion though, Panakita achieves something even better than that, and that is a mind of a really talented individual. This album feels like Christoph's attempt to create a true remarkable embodiment to the sound of Batuska. And in my opinion, not only did he succeed in embodying a great sequel, but also an album that feels even better in my opinion than its highly acclaimed predecessor. Panehida feels like a true achievement of an album. This is the true sound of Batuska. And this album feels like it worked exactly how Christoph had it in mind. I mean, Metal Blade Records released a teaser track for the upcoming supposedly Batuska album. And let me tell you something, it sounds nothing, like nothing like Batuska. Instead, it feels like a piss poor attempt 
of trying to just copy the whole sound of Paduska without having anything exciting about it. A really weak use of sampling, not even close to the true dark aesthetic of liturgia, and some really really weak performances with rough production. And that is a huge foul from Metal Blade Records taking that decision. And it's not like they're unaware of the situation. If you go to their YouTube page where they release the Baduska song, you will see that they've actually deleted the like to dislike ratio and also the comments. And I'm really curious to see if Metal Blade Records are actually going to keep on with this. And if they're going to put this album out, even though the public knows what has happened with Baduska. It's really sounded frustrating to see Christoph getting into all that struggle in order to release such a great piece of art. But at the end of the day, it ended up with a great achievement. One of the best black metal albums of this year, which you definitely have to give it a listen. Great production, great misanthropic, devastating atmosphere that only Baduska can provide in that way. I'm going to give this album an 8 minus out of 10. What's your opinion on this album? Like it? Dislike it? Why and what do you want me to review next time? Let me know down in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.